Anthony Scally's house and you realise this is a man with a sense of humour. But then, he'd argue, he's needed it. Now 42, he was diagnosed with schizophrenia 16 years ago. It was frightening. Um, I was actually sectioned under the Mental Health Act on a bad day. I can stay in bed because I feel safer. I don't want to face the world. Mr Scally had to give up work because of his illness. He's been sectioned three times. He used his disability living allowance to self-publish a book about his experiences. An uncomfortable subject, but it's said to make comic reading at times. Everybody's got stories to tell. Everybody seems to have a book in them, they say. So why shouldn't I? And why shouldn't be interspersed with comedy? I've got red hair. My name's Scally. I've been diagnosed with schizophrenia. Something has to be done. I was having a smoke outside with Linda, and we got onto the subject of mental health and employment again. They'll find a placement for you soon, don't worry. It's not like you're a schizo or anything. His book, Eyebrows and Other Fish, was then picked up by a publisher. To have a book on the shelves of local libraries and in internet bookshops is an achievement in itself. But the reviews for this one suggest it's fast becoming a recommended read for patients, students and medical staff working in mental health. This is someone who develops a, a series of frightening beliefs and suddenly he is dragged into a stark hospital environment in the sort of 1980s. And it's... Uh, it's a, a real sanitary read for people working in mental health professionals like me. Mr. Scally will soon be giving a lecture to university students himself in his own inimitable style. I'm more than just a person with schizophrenia. I'm a writer now. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a father. I'm a brother. And so is everybody with any mental health diagnosis. He can't lock us up in the attic anymore. Eleanor Moritz.